Hey everyone, Ryan from eBike Escape, and in this video, we're gonna show you some accessories that you might wanna put on your Electric XP 2.0. We have some of the accessories direct from Electric, and we have some third-party ones as well. And before we get started with throwing these accessories on, if you are looking to purchase a electric electric bike, we would really appreciate it if you use the link in the description prior to making the purchase, because it helps make videos like this one Thanks in advance for your support. I will also put links to our full electric bike accessories list, our top e-bike brands page, and finally our electric bike discounts code page. As I record this, we are very close to Black Friday and I am compiling all of the electric bike brands that are having Black Friday deals, including electric. So be sure to check out that link in the description as well. With that, let's put on some accessories on the electric XP 2.0. Okay, let's take a closer look at all of these accessories. We have this electric XP 2.0 all decked out. We're gonna actually start in the front. So these are the racks that are optional. So $149 extra and what you get is the front rack. So these are two separate pieces and then you get the front basket and then you get that rear basket which we'll take a closer look at in here in just a second. But actually, Electric XP was supposed to ship these out a while ago and apparently they got them and they weren't super happy with the quality and because they wanted to deliver a higher quality product, we just got these and it's now the beginning of November. So happy to be able to showcase these if you are looking at them. I think it's a pretty good value given all the cargo capacity that you get with both the front and rear basket. And of course you already have the included rear rack on the electric electric bikes. And what is cool is these hole patterns allow you to flip them. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference on the front one. There's not a whole lot of difference between the width, but on the back we'll show you just how you could mount that. And the other thing that's really cool about the front and rear baskets is they are interchangeable. So you can put this one in the back or you can put the bigger one up front. Installation on these is very easy. Four bolts here and then the four bolts here by the head tube of the electric bike. And we'll show off the premium headlight that we just installed here in just a second. But just to note that with this front rack, they do include these mounts for zip ties. So pretty clean look there to keep the cable obviously out of the way, which is nice. All right, let's move on to the cockpit and check out all the accessories that we put up here. So we have my favorite half knee mirrors here, opted for the handlebar mounted mirror because there's just not a whole lot of room up here on the handlebars and of course on the right side, you have that thumb shifter and you really want when you're using handlebar mounted mirrors, you actually want them as close to the outside as possible to increase viewings. So I really think the bar end mirrors are the way to go with the electric XP and this particular one from half knee is actually quite large and get a good look at that, but really like half knee mirrors, high quality, and of course you can select from all sorts of designs. Next we have Ergon grips. So these are the Nexus roll-off grips. If you're not familiar with Ergon, they're a big name in the handlebar grip and saddle space. And what's nice is these are locking. So they're not gonna move at all when you're riding. The included grips on many electric bikes, not just electric, are actually just slide on. And while they don't move a ton, sometimes over time they can loosen up. So the locking grips definitely feel a little bit better. And of course, these have a nice palm grip. And in my opinion, they look a little bit nicer as well. So nice little upgrade there. And then we have the Night Eyes Raptor. This is my favorite cell phone mount. It's super simple, but I've used it a ton and I've had no issues with it. Has rubber on the four corners, not gonna have to worry about a clamping mechanism that might hit buttons. So really like this Night Eyes one. It actually just straps with a rubber strap to your front handlebars. And we did put a Blaze 600 light on here. This is from Planet Bike, we'll actually touch on that when we compare the premium light to the original light. And we'll also use this light to compare so you can get an idea of what an external light. This is actually one of my favorite lights. 
And then of course, on the right side, we also have the other ergon grip. And so what makes the roll-off Nexus ones unique is they're actually made for twist shifting, but they also work with twist throttles. So that's why you can pick these up and they work just fine. They do come in different sizes, but just know that that's actually the circumference around the grip as opposed to the length of the grip. Next up, we have half knee pedals. I talked about the half knee mirror already. These are pretty cool blue pedals. Decided to throw them on here. Now, of course, you likely won't wanna put these on if you do plan to fold this electric bike. Of course, the folding pedals come included, but thought these blue pedals match really well. And if I have a discount code for these still, I will put that in the blog post that has a list of all these accessories. The next thing that I would like to talk about is an alarm. Now we don't have this mounted to the bike, but it does include holes so you can zip tie it or perhaps you can hide it elsewhere on your bike. This is the WSD cam alarm. It's really affordable on Amazon. I really like them and of course it adds additional security. It's super loud. I'll show you here in just a second, but I did do a separate video on that. It does come with what looks like a car remote. So if you go ahead and hit the lock button, it's gonna go and lock the bike. You do get a notification once it is armed. And of course, if I move the alarm, it's gonna immediately alarm. And then if I continue to move it, it's gonna be obnoxious. So really like this alarm, very affordable way to help protect your bike. Okay, I did want to talk about security. So these bosses back here, these are actually made to attach a folding lock such as the one you see here. This is not the one sold by Electric. This is actually made by a company called CD Lock. They offer good security and they're a little bit more affordable than some of the top brands. Of course, you can decide what lock is going to be the best for you depending on where you live. I also really like the Abus Bordeaux Big 6000 Alarm. That lock is definitely high quality. Kryptonite sells some folding locks. Or if you want, you can go with the electric one as well. I believe in their current promotion for Black Friday, they're offering a pretty good deal on that lock as well. Okay, moving on to the rear of the bike, you can see we have the giant basket here and you can see we have it mounted vertically, but you can turn this and have it stick out a little bit more on each side. I guess it's going to be user preference. So really like the rear rack that they have here. And as I mentioned, you could put that smaller rack back here, just depending on what you wanna use it for. But I really like that this cargo pack turns this bike into a utility electric bike where you could take it grocery shopping, just makes the bike far more versatile. And of course, what comes into play there is just how affordable you can get all these accessories for. And that's of course what electric is known for. Obviously with the front and rear basket installed, that's of course going to change the folding functionality. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this and try to give you a bit of an idea of how this bike folds. Now, one accessory that I wanted to mention that I don't have right here, but I will put a picture on the screen is you should definitely consider purchasing a Christmas tote uh, for your electric XP if you wanna transport it. Now, one of the great things is, and I'll put the dimensions on the screen of that, but you can put a electric XP 2.0 in so many different cars and it's kind of a pain to actually carry this electric bike when it's folded. So putting it in a bin and then being able to load it, I'm actually able to load it myself. So that's been a real game changer for us, especially when we did our recent traveling in South Dakota, we brought the electric XP in the back of our van and loaded it up in that tote and it worked very well. So definitely an accessory that I would consider. All right, let's go ahead and fold this bike here. So the first thing is to undo that clip. All right, and then we'll go ahead and undo the handlebars up here. Handlebars fold down. At this point, we will also fold that mirror in to get it out of the way. And we did go ahead and take those pedals off and put the folding pedals back on just in case they come in contact. So when the Electric XP 2.0 is folded with both of these baskets, you can see that it's just not going to fold anywhere near how it should. And of course it's not gonna fit in that tote. So something to keep in mind, but we're gonna go ahead and take this basket off and we'll see how it folds with just the front basket on so you can get an idea. 
As you can see with that rear basket removed, the Electric XP folds just how it normally would. Obviously the only thing that you have to keep in mind is you have a little bit more height here with that front basket, but hopefully that helps you if you're looking to fold your Electric XP 2.0 with the baskets. Not a huge deal to remove the rear one for travel. All right, next I do wanna talk about the saddle. So when I ordered the Electric XP 2.0, I opted not to get the Comfort Pack, which comes with a suspension seat post as well as a giant seat. I actually think that's how they brand it, as a giant seat. And the reason for that was because I wanted to see how the stock seat felt and the suspension seat post that they include. I've seen similar ones on Amazon. I've seen similar ones mentioned in the various forums that I am part of. I just know that those aren't as high quality as some of the suspension seat posts that I have personally used. So my recommendation is because this stock seat is actually fairly comfortable, I would order the Electric XP, try the seat out, see if you need additional comfort. If you do, at that point, I would order a nicer suspension seat post. And of course, that's probably gonna give you the comfort you need. And then of course, from there, you can replace that saddle if you'd like. And I'm gonna show you just a few of the suspension seat posts that I've personally used and that I recommend. The first one we'll talk about is the Redshift Shock Stop. I really like the clean look of this and it is lighter compared to some of the other ones. It has a little fender in the back here to kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. This one's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Comparable to the Redshift is this Connect suspension seat post by Cirrus Cycles. Really like this one. Again, this is a little bit more on the expensive side, but since this is a budget electric bike, the one I would recommend that you get is the one from SR Sun Tour. This is the NCX suspension seat post. We've been using it a long time. So it's really nice is this one comes in at just over $100. So I feel like it offers incredible value for the performance, the additional comfort. And then you have your front suspension on the Electric XP 2.0, and then you have a little seat post suspension as well. So this is the one I would recommend, of course, you can upgrade to a different seat. This is the YLG seat available on Amazon. We'll put a link to this in the description. Seats are something that is very much user preference. My wife doesn't prefer this one, but I know tons of people really like this seat. So it's kind of one of those things that you need to try it before you decide what seat is going to be best for you. But I do see a lot of people opt for the YLG. And the other brand that a lot of people opt for are the Cloud9 seats. This is actually my wife's favorite seat. And really you can't go wrong with any of the Cloud9 seats. I prefer the ones with the neoprene on top. They seem a little bit more cushier. But of course, as I mentioned, the stock seat on the Electric XP is perhaps the most comfortable seat on a electric bike that I have received. The one thing to keep in mind if you are looking to purchase a suspension seat post is you might also need to purchase a shim. So at least on the Electric XP 2.0 that I received, I'm not sure if this is going to change. It's something definitely to verify on the one you receive, but this is a 31.8 suspension seat post. And so what you'll need to do if you purchase perhaps a 27.2 SR Sun Tour suspension seat post, you're going to need to purchase a shim. I actually don't have the correct shim handy, but here's what they look like. You can see this one's from Cane Creek has inside diameter of 27.2, outside diameter 28.6. And here's just another example of one. It really doesn't matter what brand you buy. This is a 30.9 to 27.2. So if you're looking for suspension seat post, buy one that will go from 31.8 to the actual size of suspension seat post that you purchase. You might actually be able to find that exact size, then you won't need to shim, but just wanted to point that out. Okay, next we're going to show you the difference between the stock headlight on the Electric XP 2.0 and compare it to the premium headlight, which is priced at $49. And as I mentioned, we'll also show you that Planet Bike light just for comparison. All right, here is the premium light. We can definitely tell that it is brighter, but whether it is $50 worth is going to be up to you. You can compare these side by side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Planet bike light on. So that's how an external uh, light can look and we'll turn off the premium headlight. So that is the Planet Bike 
Blaze 600 SLX, and I believe they also make an 800, which is obviously going to be brighter. And of course, you have different functions. You have flashing. I really like this for daytime use. We use it all the time. And so definitely more powerful on the Planet Bike One, which is why I always recommend if you're riding at night to purchase an external rechargeable high quality light such as the Planet Bike 600 SLX. I hope you found this video helpful delving into all of the accessories that you might want to consider on your electric XP 2.0. There will be a link in the description to a blog post which includes all of the products that we talked about today. Again, if you are looking to purchase a electric XP or even some of the accessories, I'd really appreciate it if you use the link in the description before you make your purchase. It really helps us out and makes videos like this one possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.